Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And listen up, man. We got a leaked article with the NBA 2K23 gameplay details, improvements, the builder, all that. I'm going to go in depth about it. You know, really go in depth, give my opinion about it. Make sure y'all drop a like. Helps out the vid a lot. Subscribe, all that. What the hell? They trying to change the shooting? This year's major change is the addition of shooting attributes, which give each signature jump shot its own shooting stats that help determine its effectiveness. Well, what do y'all think that could be some 2K Lab? You know, since like 2K Lab like be giving out the stats, they're finally like giving it out themselves type. There's also five new shot meters. Leak, leak, leak with 15 more that can be unlocked through the seasons over the coming year. So we have 20 new shot meters. What the hell? Y'all let me know if y'all excited about that. I mean, it would be dope, but y'all give us the shooting boost with no shot meter, which makes shooting easily. Take out the shooting boost, please. Take it out so you use shot meter and enjoy them and all that type of stuff. But yeah, the no, the shooting boost, it, it makes it too easy. A lot of y'all, y'all might not know, but if you don't have your shot meter on, it makes shooting way easier. You get a boost. <laughs> it's crazy. Apparently, some new combos, man. Um, Pro stick enhancements. New jester combos. Have they ever used the word jester before? Have been added to the pro stick. Introducing a lot of new weapons. We go and see. <laughs> for both shooting and ball handling for playmakers. Oh my God, we're going to get some new dribbling. Please? Please? <laughs> dunking also received new commands ensuring players dunk exactly how they want without accidentally firing off an unexpected skill dunk what ain't no way ain't no way i always do a random dunk you know when, when i go to try to contact dunk people he be laying it up it's very annoying at least on current gen but now you got the aggressive dunk feature so now like i ain't really have to do with that but um for next gen but you know i play both but now you get you get this this type of uh dunk thing hopefully for layups it's kind of like that where i don't do no slow ass layup i don't know I, I hope the whole dunking system isn't slowed down this year in the layups they slowed it down so people could get more uh chase down blocks i did not like that at all bro but um yeah dunking and layups need to be way faster bro like it's ridiculous they just need to improve the defense you know what the hell skill moves and adrenaline boost what the fuck is that the 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 meter bars above the stamina shit <laughs> adrenaline boost <laughs> hey i'm gonna activate my adrenaline boost and you bit i'm gonna be dribbling <clears throat> and then just <clears throat> you know head ass so let's check this out new jester combos give players even more ball handling and shooting options for their offensive arsenal and by the way this is credible this is from uh you know a credible sword okay <laughs> this isn't like fake news it's shit like they was posting before so i mean new gesture combos give players even more ball handling and shooting options for their offensive arsenal i don't really know what that means um sounds interesting additionally a new feature to prevent over dribbling is the concept of adrenaline boost okay that sounds ass they're trying to reduce dribbling, slow the game down type shit. Everyone that flew out there, they told me that the game was really slow and boring and ass. I don't know why they do this. They should just buff defense. All the good 2Ks was fast and, you know, people could dribble, etc. But I know a lot of y'all old heads, y'all are excited. <laughs> We're so happy. <laughs> but guess what? You still gonna get cooked. Cause it really is you got no d my boy <laughs> um they say boosts are consumed every time a player performs a hard go or explosive launch and once their three boosts are gone players will notice their speed and acceleration decrease significantly for the remainder of the possession so i guess you can use three of them holes per possession and shit so you know with this implemented people are going to be getting gatorade even more ew Ugh. i mean at least it's something new i just wish there was no gatorade and we would already have enough to wear you know like come on bro y'all let me know if y'all are excited about this what, what do y'all think about it 
defense. Okay. Uh, I wish there were more paragraphs about defense. That's a red flag. Defense. Defensive gameplay includes major updates aimed at creating more realistic on-ball defense. Basically told us nothing right there. We, we've we unlocked. We did not unlock quick first step for defense. No speed boosting for defense yet. <laughs> hey, do y'all want speed boosting for defense, bro? But um, they say more realistic on on-ball defense and shot blocking as well as steals and ball strips. And they're saying they changed it, switched it around a little bit. They said this year blocks have been tuned to a more realistic level. What does that mean? Nerfed? Oh, I guess that means nerf based off what Shake says. I guess it was unrealistic before. Um, leading to more predictable outcomes. Oh my god, they using the word predictable. That 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 makes me feel special inside, bro. You know, I, I always preach year to year. You need predictability. Predictability equals skill gap and fun gap. If there's no predictability, there ain't no goddamn fun or skill gap. Facts are uh, next. Anywho, with the right players making appropriate stops when timing their block attempts well, there's also a distinct improvement in ball security for good dunkers and much more. Wait, why is that in deep? Am I reading this wrong? Why is this here? I don't I don't know why they put that there. Um badges. Introducing a brand new tier badge system for players on PlayStation 5 and Xbox, blah blah blah. There will be 16 badges per attribute category. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, this is the next gen badge system. Okay, 16 badges, so I guess there'll be 16 finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defense. And then there will be eight. No, no, there will be 16 badges per attribute category. What the fuck? How many attributes is there? Well, that's a lot of badges. Ain't no way per attribute category. Maybe that still means the four. Ain't no way they like quadrupled the number of badges. What do y'all think? They said eight in tier one, four in tier two, and four in tier three with the basic idea being that players need to equip a certain number of badges in lower tiers before they can equip badges in the highest okay so it seems like there is a badge restriction so we're gonna have less badges overall let me speak about that if you guys didn't know next gen you know y'all think it's like supposed to be crazy or oh, do it y'all own if y'all looked at the builder in the beginning before the glitch builds came and people figured out uh smaller builds could do crazy like they they could get like dunking and shooting and all this other stuff before that happened and people figured out the fades the builder for next gen was more restricted than the builder for current gen i didn't even know that <laughs> It was, uh, let me say it again. It was more restricted than current gen. That's what it was intended to happen, right? So it's looking like now they implemented some more features to apply some more restriction. So it looks, it's looking like they wanna do more a role player thing, which a lot of you fuck boys want for some reason. Um, I don't really understand I mean, it's good for content creators, right? Because we get to spam build videos, etc. more diversity. But for y'all, y'all are having to make all these builds to just compete instead of just making one or two builds and sticking throughout with, sticking with it throughout the year. Now you got to pay hundreds, thousands of dollars. <laughs> You'd be surprised how much you'll be buying uh, these builds for. But hey, man. Y'all want more role playing 2K? Hey, <laughs> it's coming. Bring out them pockets, my boy. Okay, they're saying the takeovers are the same from previous games, but Team Takeover has been redesigned. So, Team Takeover works as a cooperative team system with the entire team sharing a single meter. The new design makes a lot more sense and does a better job representing what it means to be hot as a team and to take over the game as a unit. They're saying they buffed the AI with ball handling. <laughs> you cannot rip the AI, so I don't know why you buffing these niggas. 
I better not get crossed by no AI and they break my ankles. I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Hopefully this means that since you buffed their their ball handling, I can goddamn rip these niggas. They unrippable. Pick and roll execution, defensive tendencies, I doubt it, and coaching decisions. So apparently what the word they want to use to describe NBA 2K23 is authenticity. Anywho, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. I'll be covering all the 2K23 news. I'm going to break down each of this shit in depth. <laughs> later on i'm not finna make an hour video bro this is crazy why they drop so much like sprinkle that hoe who is controlling these niggas but hey y'all want to do it like this so much so much news bro i'm gonna drop continuous videos really breaking down everything so make sure y'all turn on them noties man subscribe if you new. hit that goddamn like button let me know how you what how you feel about all of this and if you're excited, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.